Hi, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to come up with these three popular trigonometric identities from absolute scratch. Now in order to derive them from scratch we need to know a few rules. We need to know that sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse, cosec theta is hypotenuse over opposite, cos theta is adjacent over hypotenuse, sec theta is hypotenuse over adjacent, tan theta is opposite over adjacent, and cot theta is adjacent over opposite. Now over here I've created a diagram in it a stands for the adjacent length of this right angled triangle, O stands for its opposite length, and H stands for the length of this hypotenuse. Now because this is a right angled triangle, A squared plus O squared should be equal to H squared. This is Pythagoras' theorem, by the way. Now it is this formula we are going to use to come up with these three trigonometric identities from scratch. So let's begin. I'm first going to write down a squared plus o squared is equal to h squared. Now I'm going to divide each and every element of this equation by h squared. If I do this, what I end up getting is a over h squared plus o over h squared is equal to 1, because h squared over h squared is equal to 1. Now it turns out that a over h and o over h are in fact cos theta and let me see, was that O over H? Yep. And sine theta. So what we end up getting over here is cos theta squared plus sine theta squared is equal to 1. And we've derived the first trigonometric identity on this sheet of paper from scratch. Now let's do the same for the second. I'm going to write down a squared plus o squared equals h squared once again, but this time I'm going to divide each and every element of this equation by a squared. If I do this, what I end up getting is 1, because a squared over a squared is 1, plus o over a squared equals h over a squared. Now what is o over a and h over a? o over a is tan theta and h over a is sec theta. So what I end up getting here is 1 plus tan theta squared is equal to sec theta squared and we've derived the second trigonometric identity over here. Okay, now let's do the final one using the same technique. I'm going to write down a squared plus o squared equals h squared and I'm going to divide each and every element of this equation by o squared. Okay, if I do this, what I end up getting is a over o squared plus 1 is equal to h over o squared. But what is a over o and what is h over o? Well, it turns out a over o is cot theta and h over o is cosec theta. So what I end up getting here is cot theta squared plus 1 is equal to cosec theta squared. And this means we've derived all of the trigonometric identities on this sheet of paper. 
If you like this video and this technique, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching this video.